So the final bit I want to show you, and this is really like a part of the extension task now, is trying to make our furniture look a little bit more realistic. If we went back to the very start, I just drew this rectangle and made it 3D. Now if we look over on this side now, what I've done is I've actually gone back and edited it a bit, so I've now got doors and things like that on, and if I really wanted to show off, I could and this is what maybe an architect might do in in kind of the in in industry to make it look really realistic is they could actually try and make the door look like it's opening so we could lean this over here and i could make the door because i've now made that separate i could show that the door is actually open a little bit so we're going to not maybe go that far but over on this side what we're going to try and do now is um, to add in the drawers or at least make them look a little bit more like drawers so to begin with we need to edit this this is a component which means it's protected so if i double click on it and what happens as we saw in the previous video everything else gets blanked out so the first thing i need, would like to do is i need to draw a line that goes along there and you'll notice that the green goes green because it means it's parallel. That is now going to keep the top part of my drawers where I want them to go. I'm going to move the next bit back by a certain amount, but I'm going to put numbers in. So I don't want it to go back too far, but I want a bit of thickness there. So maybe I'm going to try, try, try 20. So I've now got those two bits there. All I do now is get the select tool and select out of it so that is now one component and then we're going to go back in and draw the drawers in in a second.